YouTube unalived one of our videos this week, the popular series that we just started. So I'm maybe taking some artistic liberties when I call it a popular series, but our series, Degoogle Your Life, um, had a part two that was uploaded a little over two weeks ago and sat there on YouTube for two weeks until earlier this week, I received a notification that it had been removed for violating YouTube's community guidelines. Um, Specifically, it was flagged as potentially harmful or dangerous content, which We'll get into this in a little bit more detail. Doesn't necessarily mean that it included, you know, instructions on bomb building or anything sort of overtly dangerous like that. But more it doesn't meant, necessarily mean it didn't include bomb building. It is possible it included that. Did you ever play it backwards, <laughs> like those records from the seventies <laughs> with the devil thing. lyrics? Hmm? Yeah, did that's, you? That's fair. No, I didn't. Well, now actually. you can't because hmm. it's not on YouTube. At I, least it's on Floatplane. At least it's not on our YouTube channel, where it is definitely is on Floatplane yeah. and and other people's YouTube channels and other people's YouTube channels. <laughs> so what we discovered is that that category of 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 violation is just extremely broad, and they did provide a, a little bit more detail in terms of what was exactly uh, against the YouTube community guidelines in uh in a follow in or well not a follow-up but in like an additional message um i can answer a couple of your main questions right now one is if you want to watch this video where can you go and the only official source of it is lmg.gg slash floatplane where uh, it will be forever because it doesn't violate Floatplane's terms of service. What? So there you have it. Degoogle Your Life Part 2, where we talk about... Um, ooh, I'm actually not going to show the exact things we talk about because I really oh, don't wow. need this episode of The WAN Show oh. pulled down. <laughs> Yeah! Thanks, YouTube. Yeah! Thanks. Uh, Cool. Anyway, there are other places where you can find it, but guys, this is yet another example of the importance for creators of diversifying their revenue sources. And this is something that I've been talking about since day zero. Yeah, for sure. Both internally here at Linus Media Group and externally when I did really unpopular things in the past. Do you remember the kind of long chat we had to have with the audience the first time we did a baked in sponsor spot oh, into yeah. our video. Oh yeah. Dude, that was controversial. Extremely back so. when we did it. I think we were promoting an Intel like snowboard giveaway or something like that. That, that was either oh, the first yeah, one. Yeah, that was super weird. Or a I very this. early one. And Ed did this like weird little like graphic that he created for it and stuff. And that was that was a big deal back then. It was like, you money grubbers, get a real job. Like the way the discourse around that totally. kind of thing has changed in the last 11, 12 now years. Now when people don't have those, people are like, what are you doing? Yeah, get you that. You got to get paid, Get dude. that bag, get queen. Bag, king, yeah. You know, like it's, it's totally changed. It's totally changed now. And so, you know, whether it is um, procuring your, your own sponsors or whether it's um, starting a merch store or whether it is providing... Uh, video downloading and streaming services directly to your viewers via an alternative platform like Patreon or Nebula or <clears throat> Floatplane. Um, we have strongly encouraged creators since day zero to look for ways to diversify their income streams, and um, this just is such a this is just such a <laughs> such a Streisand effecty. Oh, dude. way yeah. of Google ultimately making our point for us in a way that I could never make so powerfully. I do prefer it over them effectively like shadow banning the video. Um, Because that wouldn't have Streisand affected it. Yeah, I guess that's true. And uh, thank you for bringing that up. Now, if anyone from YouTube watches this, I'm sure there'll be some internal conversations about... <laughs> You know, taking that approach instead. Um, uh, good job. Yeah. I mean, in general, that is, it's true what he says. Shadow banning the offensive behavior is absolutely the lowest impact way of and at least lowering its impact. We've seen YouTube do that before with channels. So we know yep. that's the thing that they, they do. You can find the channel. You can technically find the videos, but it's really hard. You almost need direct links to them. They'll like never be recommended to you under any circumstance. Yep. But as it was, the way that they did it was um, 
not great. It it ended up with I think uh, Rossman made a video about it that has half a million views now. Yep. Um, his video, I think front page Reddit, like r slash all, it has thirty thousand upvotes just discussing Google pulling this video down. Um, there are reuploads of it that I'm not going to link to because I don't. I've, I've, that's that's a question that I've seen from the audience a bunch. Actually, I'm, I'm not is, interested in going to battle with YouTube over this. It's not totally. Are you planning on doing anything on the LMG side about the other people uploading the videos? That's this is not me asking the question. I've seen this asked from a bunch of other people. Just to be clear for the audience, do what? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, yeah. Sounds. I think that's, what videos? That's crystal clear to me. Sounds good. What is? Yeah, nothing. I mean. Air? Yeah. Yeah. It's clear as a crystal. Yeah. <laughs> crystal air. I highly recommend it. It's delicious. It, so, it sounds like if crystal light got into like flavored air. <laughs> Isn't that Sorry. just asbestos? This is, this is <laughs> I assumed it was a Pepsi product. I assumed it's like one of those one of those uh Yuck. one of those weird Yuck. booths you find in like Las Vegas when they're trying to sell you like flavored yeah, air. Banana flavored asbestos. Yeah. 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 Um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, right. and, and I, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm not going to say too much about it because our full kind of breakdown is going to be uploaded <laughs> hopefully tomorrow. I might even get mm. the call during this WAN show to have a look at the, at the edit and make sure that it's, that it's good to upload. Oh, we're releasing a video like talking about what happened. Literally, we, we, we kind of pivoted this morning and we went, okay, um, at this point, it has officially Streisand affected, and not because we did anything. Yeah, we actually, to be honest, we didn't do anything, The really. first thing that I said to, to our Google contact, who, uh, by the way, is great, and I'm not going to say anything that she said or didn't say about any of it, because nothing she said is, is problematic in any way from my point of view. Effectively, all she did was kind of go, okay, here's the resources that you guys need. And it's just kind of pointed us at the places in the dashboard. She did everything totally great. I actually love our YouTube contact. She's amazing. Um, but the first thing I said to her was, this is such a completely unnecessary, like escalation of this. When, if you guys had a problem, you literally have my cell phone number. You could have said, hey, this is a problem. And, and, and to be clear, I'm not even saying I should get special treatment in this case. I'm just saying that as a very large channel, regardless of how they feel about me or my channel, doing this without talking to us and without even attempting to, to rectify the situation, to not tell us what's wrong. Not that necessarily would have... Changed it anyways. not that we necessarily would have changed would have it anyway. They would have appreciated some form of I didn't heads even say up that. at the very least. I didn't even say that. I'm just making, because it... No, sound, no, no. Yeah. I want to make it clear. Yeah. I was not asking for a heads up. Oh. What I was saying was, strategically, this just seems like a pretty dumb move. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah. all. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was the first thing I, that was the first thing I said about it. And I'm not going to say what she did or didn't say in response to that, because I'm not looking to get her in trouble. She's sure. amazing. Yeah. But I was just like... With every factor considered, and I'm not, I'm not saying I would have done anything differently or that I wouldn't have just left it up or that I wouldn't have just said F you or I, whatever, I right? I would have changed it. Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not even going there. All I'm saying is this seems like the highest impact possible way oh, yeah. that you guys could have approached this. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and it's, it's, it's one of those things where I feel like sometimes it just comes down to engineers making decisions rather than, you know, like people whose specialty is sort of human relations and human interactions and human behavior, you know, um, you know, people who see things in terms of numbers and in terms of policy. And, and you know what? I got to own my part of the blame here, right? Like I did put them in a challenging position by uploading a video that violated TOS. It's that simple. Did it violate to us? We get into, we get into, yes. Okay. Whether or not that should be the TOS, uh -huh. we're going to leave that to people's judgment. Got it. But in the video, we do lay out um, how we did in fact violate TOS. So I'm not even, I'm not complaining. I'm not going to sit here and throw a little hissy fit and re-upload my video and then get a strike and then complain about that and turn this into like a drama snowball. That's absolutely not going to happen. But 
What I will say is, I think they went about this in the supremely wrongest possible way. And what I would like to see is I'd like to see them approach these things in the future more like they handle things like copyright, where the video doesn't get ripped down. It's a back and forth. Yeah, they, 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 the owner flags it. And to be clear, the way they handle copyright is not perfect. I'm just saying there are some things that we can learn from YouTube's existing systems about how we could do this better. So you get a notification. In the meantime, any AdSense earned by the videos goes into escrow. And then once the claim is dis the claim dispute is um, resolved, that funds that is in escrow either goes to the copyright claimant or it goes to the uploader who had their video claimed against. Yeah. And, and so that was how it worked for a long time. And then now it's actually a little bit better. You can use AI to remove infringing music, for example, so that you can maintain your, your AdSense uh, without actually re uh without re just reallocating all of it to the the owner of the song you used for 40 seconds of a you know one hour video or whatever the case may be mm -hmm. so there's um there's also uh, the opportunity to trim out the infringing part so we've done that on wan show before where we've shown like a movie trailer or something like that which i actually maintain is fair use um i'm not i'm not willing to go to court to defend it but i i strongly believe that watching a movie trailer on a podcast or on it's a stream advertisement. it's an advertisement yeah, yeah. It, when you look at the impact like there, there's the four pillars right and in that case i think the main pillar that matters is the one where it's the uh here we go the effect of the use on the potential market for or value of the work yeah, if anything you would be crazy utterly deranged unhinged to like willfully like make a human decision and go those guys are showing my commercial how dare they <laughs> and these people didn't pay to access my commercial and what? rip it down right like that's just that's just crazy um and people people are saying apparently this is totally a thing uh Cam Fam Bam in Floatplane Chat says Warner apparently went after Mumbo. I don't know who that is, but for the Minecraft trailer video. Now, in that case, that's a little bit different because if you're just playing the trailer, especially if you're being positive about it, then the impact on the market of the work, on the potential market for the work, is very positive. If you are showing the trailer in its entirety and then just like crapping on it for 25 minutes, that particular pillar weakens a lot, right? But there's four pillars. So I think when it comes to things like marketing collateral, I still think there's very, very strong arguments to be made for the, the fair use repurposing of, uh, of commercials and advertising imagery and, and stuff like that. Um, what was I even talking about now? I forget. Uh, I don't know. I'm looking at the Minecraft trailer now. No, well, no, do, 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 do. have you watched it yet? No. No, don't watch okay, it. It's close that, wait, close wait, 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 wait. What did you it's, expect that was going to do? It's one of the topics of the. I, oh, I was hitting the space bar. I was going. I was pausing it. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure you hit the trackpad. Well, I'm pretty sure that you hit the trackpad. <laughs> well, I, okay. When I closed it, yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, the point is that. Um, so you are, you are you talking about how we often have to trim out trailers and then we're going to watch a trailer on the show? Uh, oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. Hey, thank you. That was actually really helpful. No problem. Uh, so, yeah, one of the other mechanisms is offering the ability to trim out the offending section the, so that the copyright holder's claim can be removed. But that was not given as an option. Instead, the entire video was pulled out, even though, as far as we can tell, there were only small parts of it that were in violation of the TOS. So I would like to see, in the longer term, I'd like to see YouTube reevaluate this system in a way that you don't have to be a major YouTuber in order with a, with a contact at YouTube in order to resolve something like this in a way that isn't just the video gets pulled down. The trick there, though, is building a system that doesn't enable bad actors. So if you're the kind of person who is uploading harmful content, let's say you are recruiting to a terrorist organization or something like that, 
If they provide clear exact timestamps for what exactly was infringing, then you are enabling those bad actors to trim just that little bit and re-upload it and happily go along their merry way. Yes, yes, everything we're doing is fine because we used this particular euphemism and left out that exact word, right? So it's a balancing act, but I would like to see them do better. And I think other than that, we can pretty much move on. Subscribe to Floatplane. Yeah. Oh, hilarious. Apparently, no, there are actually two official ways to watch that video that support Linus Media Group. Oh. On floatplane.com. Yes. Or, hold on, I'm going to find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Here we Someone go. called it. That's actually really surprising. Oh, bollocks. I'm really, musky, good job. Oh, well, whatever. I'm not I'm not logged in, but uh can you not watch videos unless you're logged in? I have no idea. Uh sure, whatever. What is it? Ugh. Do you, can can you do you do you have to log into Billy Billy to watch a video now? You didn't used to. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Uh okay. Well, anyway, yeah, our our official Billy Billy channel apparently has it with Chinese subtitles, so you can <laughs> you can watch it there if you really want.